Hi, this is a video um, to show you basically the box opening of the Fellows Personal uh, Comb Binder. It's the Starlet 2 120, which is the uh, next model up from the original Starlet, which was um, quite a robust model. Um, I've decided to upgrade uh, to see how this model is, uh, which I use um, quite a lot in and around the home. Um, so we'll let you see what's in the box and then we'll uh, go ahead and make something with it um, just for demonstration purposes. So let's get the box opened. And as we open the box, it's through, it's easier obviously to take it out um, from this position. Pull it out side by side. Okay, move the box out of the way. The book has also just fallen out of the box there just now, which we'll uh, have a look at in a little second or two. Um, take off the packaging from the sides and slide it out the wrapper. Now that, as you can see, is a machine that is quite heavy. Um, there's also a book with it which tells you a little bit of instructions. Um, when you look at the instructions, a lot of it is in different languages. Um, the first page obviously refers to us. Uh, but anyway, knowing how it works, we'll go through the demonstration and let you see. So the first thing you want to do is... On here it has sizes uh, A4 and A5 for your paper. It's a maximum uh, of 10 sheets, approximately 80 grams uh, per sheet, uh, which is the maximum it can take for punching the holes, which I'll show you about in a second or two. Um, on the sides, it's not this side, it's obviously on the other side here, there is a little tray which catches the... Um, the little confetti pieces that fall off the the uh, the, the paper when you punch it, the holes, um, which we'll show you again in a little second or two. So first things first, these are the pins, 21 pins in total, um, to make uh, the little plastic, um, what do you call it, the little plastic uh, comb binder uh, thing that goes on, which we'll show you in a second or two as well. So first of all, I'm going to show you how the actual machine works. You lift the handle up, that's it ready for demonstration. Um, I will be uh, demonstrating how to punch some holes. I have some plain paper here, which I'm just going to show you. I've set the, the little slider there, as you can see, moves around. Uh, we're setting it to the four size, which is this size of paper here. Um, I'm going to insert it into the the uh, lip and then what you do is you push your handle down quite firmly like so lift the handle back up like so and I hope you're catching this and when you take it out you'll see the holes that have now appeared for the little plastic uh, comb thing that goes through them which will uh, attach it to again just in a minute or two so that's the first thing. <clears throat> what I was going to show you was in the side here. The little drawer that comes out. And in the little drawer there, there is little pieces of the confetti, as you can see. Um, I'll just put them out there just to let you see them. And the confetti there is just what came out of the paper that we've just uh, chopped uh, to put the holes into. On the, the side of this little drawer thingy, you have different sizes. And it tells you in these sizes what the page width, uh, how many pages it would hold. Okay, so it goes from something like uh, four millimeters up all the way to, um, just trying to see what that one is, uh, 16 millimeters, which is about uh, roughly about five eighths of an inch. Um, so there we go. Anyway, that's the drawer. Stick that back in the side. Okay, turn it back round. I'm going to show you the next demonstration. 
Um, these uh, little plastic combs, um, they're fairly cheap, they're not too expensive, um, but they're good when it comes to uh, holding the pages and that together. And this gets a little bit tricky, however, um, if you know what you're doing, you've got to remember that the teeth, whichever way the, the lip goes over, and as we can see there, there's the, the little teeth that shows you on the back there, how they open up, they open up that way. Um, I hope you can see that, they open up, as I say, that way there. So what we've got to do is, you've got to put it, you've got to put this over the top here, um, just to get this right so that we know, that just sits over the 21 edges there. Didn't actually do that properly. Like so. But what the idea is, you see the little bottom part here of the, the pin, you've got to get that little plastic part over that like so, and you see it just went into every one of them there. So we now have it sitting at, uh, over, I'll just show you that again, because it was it happened quite quickly there. In the bottom part there, you see all the little silver, um, uh, how could you describe it, the little teeth at the bottom. You push the little black thing through, and, and the comb through, and pull it sideways, and it will catch each individual um, part of the, the comb. Now what happens is, you stretch the comb out, at the back of the machine, which I should have showed you earlier, um, I'll just show you that just now. There is another handle there, and what you do is you pull that handle up and it stretches the the teeth on the the uh, plastic comb, which will show you how that works now. So there's the comb there. If we pull, just watch this. If we pull that up, you see they start to move and pull the teeth out. You see, and that's same separated now. You can see all the teeth have all separated here. Alright, you can see I can run my fingers along just to let it see, just to let you see there what I'm talking about. The next thing you do is you get the paper that we uh, punched earlier, you put it over the holes, like so, and pull it down. Now make sure this is the important part that every single individual little plastic uh, tooth is through the hole, like so. Once you've done that, now, I, I tend to use covers and things like that, which I'll show you in a second or two, but anyway, um, this is just for demonstration purposes. Um, once you've done that, basically, the handle at the back, you just push it back again, slowly, back into position again, and you see it pulling back through, like so, and that's it. Done. That's it. It's done. Okay. So, all it's left to do is slide that back up there again, like so, and lift it off. Just to let you see, like so. Excuse me. 